Hey, good morning, everybody. It is uh, Monday, November 16th, and we are beginning week four. Uh, at the end of this week, we will be halfway through this course, believe it or not. Um, so uh, this week, what we're going to be focusing on is uh, theme, which I got my coffee. Um, theme really is the end goal, in my opinion, of all writing. Anything else you look for in a text whether it be conflict or characters or setting, it's all driving you towards figuring out. Those are all like the tools that the author uses to build the theme. And the theme really is what is the big lesson or takeaway or big idea that the author wants you to get from the story. Um, and I think a good way to think about theme is to start super simple. And I teach this to my eighth graders, um, but I think it's really a good way to think about theme for everyone. So how I would think about theme is I would start with a single word, right? So when you're reading through a text, you would think, all right, what one word is this text mostly about? Uh, I think it's mostly about love. Okay, so you've decided that it's mostly about love, but love can have a bunch of different messages, right? If you read or if you listen to like a breakup song, what that person's saying about love is gonna be a lot different than if you're writing a romance story. Um, so uh, you've picked your single word. You wanna develop that single word into a three word sentence. Okay, so this story is talking about love, right? But what specifically is it about? I think it's trying to tell me that love is important. Great, you've read the story, you've looked at the characters, you've looked at the setting, you've looked at the plot, you've looked at the conflicts. And you've decided that this story is telling you that love is important. And then you want to take it a step further. Now you want to add the word because, and you want to explain your thinking. Okay, I think this story is telling me love is important because um, people need love in their lives in order to be, uh, in order to have more enriching lives, All right? So you want to start with a single word and you want to try to develop it. I think that's the best way to think about and develop uh, a theme. So, um, and also the, the important thing about theme too, is that it's universal. It's teaching people in general. Um, some people, some writers will argue that there's only a couple themes out there really. Uh, and authors just keep writing, uh, stories centered on those themes. And I think that's also, you know, that's kind of true. What are stories centered on? They're centered on love. They're centered on revenge. They're centered on friendship. They're centered on trust. They're centered on family. Um, these are all things that people can relate to. So this week, what are you doing? <clears throat> well, you want to make sure you understand theme, which hopefully, uh, after my, um, explanation, <laughs> you do a little bit, but if you're like Evans, my, your explanations, uh, no good, then you can always watch this and it's done by the professionals and you can watch that and you can get a good explanation of what theme is as a literary device. Um, the readings this week is just going to be one reading, and that's Fences, and you can find that in your textbook. Fences was a play written by August Wilson, part of his Pittsburgh cycle of plays, which you're going to do a little bit of research on this week. And then the discussion board, and I'm looking forward to this, you're going to find theme in children's literature, which I think is kind of a fun assignment, because that's all children's literature is. It's all theme. Why? Because children's literature is supposed to teach kids lessons about how to navigate the world. I used to read a book to my kid every night. She doesn't like it anymore, but uh, I used to read it to her every night before bed. It was called The Love Monster. Um, and The Love Monster is a story of this little kind of like ugly red mon I didn't call uh, the monster ugly to my little daughter, but you know, in my head I was thinking it. This little ugly monster, and he lives in a world of cute bunnies and fluffy puppies, and he just doesn't feel like he belongs, right? So he sets out to try to find someone who will love him for him, right? For his sort of ugly goofiness. So he goes out and uh, he tries to find love and he can't find it. He tries to find love and he can't find it. He tries to find love and he can't find it. And this monster, he is just, he is ready to give up. He is so sad. But then, then he finds another monster out there in the world. And that monster looks at him and smiles. And the love monster smiles. And the ending of the story 
uh, is the two of them walking off sort of into the sunset arm in arm. And the last line of the story is sometimes when you least expect it, love finds you. What a nice story, right? It's teaching kids that, hey, we don't all have to look the same. Hey, even if you're different, there is someone out there who's going to love you for those differences. Um, so there's theme is a great exercise to use to practice children's literature. Um, so in your initial response, um, it says here, one of the best ways to analyze theme is to look at it through children's literature. Think of a children's story or book and analyze what the theme is. Um, you're going to have to talk about what story you're choosing. If you can, please include a link. Provide a brief summary of the story. What do you feel the theme is and why? Include text examples, please. And then end your response by asking a question to your classmates. It's just a great habit to get into to foster discussion. And then, excuse me, um, you're going to be writing a research essay this week. It's going to be on uh, August Wilson and his Pittsburgh cycle of plays, but we'll talk more about that as we get into the week. All right, guys, so keep working hard. We are in week four. You're getting it done. Thank you so much for all your hard work so far. Uh, and please feel free to reach out to me with any questions um, or concerns. Uh, and if you don't hear back from me for some reason, if you emailed me and it's been a day, day and a half, and you haven't heard from me, just keep keep bugging me. Uh, it, it probably means I just missed your email by accident um, or you know something happened and I wasn't able to get to my email. So just, just feel free to keep emailing me. That's what I'm here for. Um, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Thank you guys very much. And um, good luck this week.